What's up, monkeys? Welcome back to another cycle video. Today we're going to be going over a suit tier list uh, for release 16.1, or just release 16 because nothing really changed in the point one update. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about what you want to run on each suit uh, and what suit is the best to run. Getting right into it, we have the best suit in the game the Boxer War Suit. Uh, the reason this is the best suit in the game is everything has really bad movement. This just has the slowest movement with the most amount of HP. 1,000 to start. As you level up, it'll get to 1,400 total HP, including health and shield. Attachments you want to run on the Boxer War Suit include damage increase on kills. Note, there is a bug with this right now, I believe, where it doesn't actually give you increase, but it's still the best one to run. This will increase the damage you do after you kill mobs, and it will also increase to the players. Like, say you kill a mob, and then you start shooting at a player, your damage will be, like, slightly increased. Uh, tier 2 accessory is low HP defense. With regen being such a long timer to start, this will really help you when you get low in a fight. It'll start to heal you, give you a little bit of movement speed, and, you know, it does reduce your ability cooldowns slightly, but it's okay. Uh, next attachment you want to run is Pistol Master. Everything else here is kind of meh. You can run faster ability cooldowns to negate the effects of low HP, but it reduces your movement speed. Uh, I would just suggest Pistol Master. And your suit core, I would highly suggest Super Duper Jump. Um, you can also run charge damage if you like, but you have to get really, really close to land a charge damage punch. Punch cooldown is also kind of okay, but the punch doesn't really take you that far anyway, so... Once again, damage increase to kills, low HP, Pistol Master, Super Duper. That is going to be the best suit in the game for you. It is the Boxer War suit, if you're curious about the name. Second best suit in the game, the only other one that I would say is actually usable, is the Augment suit, or known to older players as the Basic suit. The reason this is okay is because it'll have a level at level 5, I believe, that gives you 20% faster ability cooldowns. With Hellshot being the meta ability, uh, you're gonna. This will be a really good suit for that. I would still say Boxer's better, but if you don't like the playstyle of Boxer, go ahead and use Augment. It'll be more of an ability based suit, so you'll be using Hellshot, and then you'll be using Hellshot again, and the other player, if he's a Boxer player, won't have Hellshot up when you get to use it the second time. On this, you wanna run low HP defense. Um. Mmm. Reduced damage while sprinting might be okay as well, if you like, because low HP defense will make the ability cooldowns a little bit slower. So, reduce damage or low HP, whatever you prefer. Once again, low HP will just give you a nice little health boost when you become super low, give you a little bit of movement speed as well. Reduced damage while sprinting will reduce the damage you take while sprinting, as said by the name, if you want to run that instead. Uh, for this attachment, faster ability cooldowns, of course, because that's what we're going for here as fast as cooldowns as possible. This will also do a little bit more than the reduction on low HP, I believe. So it negates, it gives you a little bit more. And damage increase on kills, because that's basically the only thing here. Uh, just real quick to go over the other suits, we have in like third place, I guess, if you want to call it that, is quick suit. I would, don't use the quick suit. It's more just for fun if you want to use it. If you want to use it, damage increase on kills, of course low HP, that's the only way you can run this suit. Uh, Pistol Master Inner Damage is also kind of okay with this if you're just going for like a fun build, just because you'll probably be running this with shotgun, sliding around hitting shots with your shotgun. But be careful, you get shredded, shredded really fast with inner damage. Uh, and Armor Dodge, so how this works, anytime you use your dodge, which is backwards or any side to side, you will get a bunch of armor, it's like 90% damage reduction I believe, before. I don't know if he's changed it, but I think it's still the same. Um, I wouldn't recommend this suit, but if you're looking to just mess around and have fun, it'll be an okay suit to run. Um, going on to Dragonfly, definitely don't use this suit. This suit is not fun, nor is it good. Uh, the attachments don't really matter, just don't run the Dragonfly. Going over the suits one more time. Best suit in the game is Boxer. Definitely the one you're going to want to run if you're going competitive in the game or just want to try hard as much as possible. Augment's a usable suit, but not nearly as good as Boxer. But it has faster ability cooldowns than 
boxer once you reach level 5 it gets 20% cooldown reduction which is pretty good considering most things are at 30% which is like 6 seconds off the cooldown or 30 seconds is like the cooldown of health shot I think somewhere around there actually we can probably check what's the cooldown of health shot it's at 35 so you're reducing like 7 seconds off the cooldown once you reach level 5 on top of faster ability cooldowns which will probably reduce another 1 or 2 so you're getting this like every 20 8 seconds, 25 second area compared to Boxer which only gets it every 35 so you know that might help you in a fight if you prefer that type of playstyle. Uh, quick suit has got the playstyle of do you want to die really fast but maybe just have fun then go ahead and use quick suit. And Dragonfly just has the playstyle of I don't want to win the game at all so I want to use Dragonfly. That has been the suit tier list for release 16.1 or season 3. My name is the Selfie Mate. And I'll see you in another video. Also, before I end it here, if you guys are curious about weapon tier list, I have a video on that for Season 3 or Release 16. And in the description of the video is Release 16.1 update for all the guns and the tiers they move to. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you later.